Hey, what's up guys? Do this like your family tree and your life depend on it because spoiler alert, they do. Doing your homework. It's a simple thing. We've, we've done this before, Seven Stages of Empire, but I wanted to bring it back quick because we are at a crossroads. I think everyone's been seeing the news of, you know, big tech, you know, media, different people, what's being, what's going on in the world and what's happening. And this has been happening for, for years and decades from, you know, the newspaper level of suppression of, of facts and thing, whatever, what doesn't matter what media source This has always been happening yet the public, you and I, we have the ability to control these things. And this goes for your wealth, your future, you know, political discussions, whatever it might be, all these things are impacted by you and I doing our homework. You and I actually doing our due diligence, being a citizen of the country we live in and being informed. And this is, we're in a very interesting time in the world because so many things are coming out. And like I said, these things have been happening forever. We just didn't know about them a lot of times, right? And because these things are being proved now because of technology and because of the things that are allowing us to see what's going on in the world, actually, whether, you know, there are some things we aren't allowed to see and there's some things we are allowed to see. It's, it's cool because we have the ability at the snap of a finger to be able to go do the research we need to do, right? So it's, it's funny because I've seen a lot of people recently talking about money, currency, you know, 401ks and things like that. And if, if people are willing to not give you the information, not give you the facts about political realms, what other things are they not giving you the facts about and the full truth about? School, money, currency, investing, asset allocation, and all these different things, diversifying. Yeah, they tell you to diversify, but in the stock market still, in one asset class. That's because certain people, they only get paid if you're in the, that asset class, if you're in the paper markets or in the debt and equity markets, right? But if you're in real estate, they don't tell you to get into that. They don't tell you to get into gold and silver. They don't tell you to get into uh, crypto. They don't tell you to get into business, start business because they don't make money off of that, right? So you have to be able to peel the layers back. There's three sides to every coin. And there's, there's both sides and the edge. Being able to be on the edge is what we talk about here all the time. That's what our company is about. That's what we're trying to do to help peel the layers back for people. At the end of the day, it, you know, it doesn't, I want an informed citizenry. I want people to be informed and be able to make decisions about their life, whether it's at the polls or whether it's just for their own life. That's our goal. That's our mission. That's what we're doing here. I know I'm confident. We, I, I put, you know, the time and experience in, I know we're going to be fine. I want to help more people. Right. And that's the, that's the, that's what we're trying to do here. That's why we put out content all the time. That's why we do these things. I could just not do these things and it could, I could just do the things myself. Right. But what's the fun in that? Right. We got to give back. And the, the seven stages of empire is one of those things that we've gone through this before. We're in these phases right now of, of sound money, layers of public works, massive military war, currency debasement. We're obviously in that speeding up like crazy. And then we have, a loss of faith, which is coming. We see prices rising everywhere in different realms, obviously. Inflation, whether it's you know your bag of potato chips is half of what it used to be. It might be the same price. You only get half potato chips in the bag. And then currency crisis, which is what we're headed to. So we're, we're in here somewhere, it's, you know, step six or seven. We're not at seven yet, but we're somewhere around six. And we're increasingly speeding that up, right? We're accelerating that ever since 1971. So many millions of things. There's a great, a great, great site, and I'll try to link it here. But it's WTF happened in 1971. I believe it's WTF happened in 1971.com actually. And it's all these charts, like a million charts about what has gone off the rails in the last 50 years because of a lot of it really has to do with the economic decisions that were made then. Because as we know, shutting down an entire economy, do, doing these different things affects the economy way more than it does anything else. You have suicide rates and, and families being destroyed and business being destroyed way more than you have anything else going on. And that's the predicament we find ourselves in. And that's how we have to be smarter. We're God's highest form of creation. So how are we going to better that? How are we going to rise above, be bigger than our problems? Well, if we know where we're at and what we're doing, then we can hope, we even hope to change that and do something about it, right? But you have to start peeling the layers back. Who is not telling me the truth? Are my teachers tell, not telling me the truth? Are the, the Wall Street advisors, the financial advisors, are they not telling me the truth? Is the media telling me the truth? Who is telling me the truth? Who is not telling me the truth? Am I checking five sources, three sources, 10 sources? Am I doing my own homework? Am I going to third party sites? Am I doing different things to find the knowledge? 
like I said, it's not just one arena. This is all arenas that we had all the power in the world to be able to be the most informed, pe informed people that we need to be, yet we don't seem to be. And we seem to be becoming more and more divided. These should be very unifying times that we're in right now. Why are we so divided? Why are we, you know, at least in America, we're Americans. Why are we not standing together? Why are we not doing things together and standing for the, all the different factions of the country, right? Why are we not doing that? Why are we dividing ourselves? Why are we pitted against each other? Because we know, you know, you pluribus unum, you know, like we know that if we are divided, we fall. And that's what the people who don't want us to succeed, they know that, right? Inside out, inside out. They know they have to subvert us from the inside. So stand united, be united, whatever it may be, whether it's just your family or, you know, your friends and people around you and the, and the people in your community, we know where we're at. And a lot of those things, they're, a lot of people are, in, 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 are enabled to subvert us from the inside out because we're losing faith. We're losing faith not only in our currency and the institutions around us because we're letting entities erode those things in our life. And because we're feeling the pinch maybe at the grocery store, we're feeling the pinch when we're filling up our gas tank, we're feeling the pinch when we're going to buy a home, sell our home, whatever it may be, we're losing faith. And it's really because in 19, 1913, we created the Federal Reserve, which is really a socialistic central planning entity where it was unelected people who didn't have to answer to anybody were able to start centrally planning our economy and they reaped all the rewards and started subverting all that purchasing power to themselves and, and taking it away from the people. And that's why we are where we are. So appreciate you guys more than anything, spending your time, your attention, your energy here, because it really is the most important thing we have in learning this and doing this together and uniting is the only way we're going to see any change going forward. And we're going to see a, a, a bounce back to our founding uh, principles and values and, and morals and ethics that we all used to share. So thank you guys. We'll see you on the next one.